You can use powerful analysis tools in InVivo for Mac to work with structured data. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to automatically code a dataset containing survey responses. Imagine you have already imported an Excel spreadsheet containing survey responses into your project as a dataset source. These columns with the white background are called codable columns or fields. They contain responses to open-ended survey questions. Although you can manually code this content, you can speed things up by using the AutoCode Assistant to quickly gather the responses, for example, into a node for each question. Click on the dataset, then on the Analyze tab, click AutoCode. Choose this option to code at nodes and click Next. Here you have a list of the available columns. In our example, these are the open-ended survey questions. You can choose which ones you want to code, but I'll just go ahead and select them all, and then click here, and then click Next. I want to create the nodes under a new node hierarchy. I could change the location by clicking here, or enter a new name here for the top level node, but I'll just go ahead and accept the defaults. Now click AutoCode. Here in the Nodes folder, you'll find the newly created node hierarchy that contains the auto-coded responses. To view the coded content for a particular question, just double-click the node. Now, imagine that you subsequently receive additional responses to your survey. You've gathered these new responses into a spreadsheet and imported it into your project. We recommend that the spreadsheet includes only the extra responses. Once again, click in the dataset, and then on the Analyze tab, click AutoCode. Choose this option to code at nodes for selected columns. I'll select all of the columns and click Next. I want to make sure that the additional responses get added into the node hierarchy I already created. So I choose Existing Node, then click here, select this parent node, and click Select. Now click AutoCode. The additional responses are added to the existing nodes. This column shows that there are now two sources that have been coded at these nodes. And the reference count also reflects the additional coding. You might want to watch the separate video tutorial that shows how to autocode a dataset to create, code, and classify at cases. Once you autocode your dataset for cases, as well as for nodes, you'll be able to answer questions like, what do people over the age of 70 say about water quality? For more information, refer to the online help.